Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ and our topic for today is plotting of points in the Cartesian plane. Now, the horizontal line is what we call the x-axis. The vertical line is what we call the y-axis. Now, to plot points, we need to follow this one, the ordered pair. So, the ordered pair, that would be x and y. So, when we plot points, x comes first before y. So, we will start on x. Next will be y. So that's the ordered pair. We always follow this ordered pair. Now, in the Cartesian plane, the center here, this one, is what we call the origin. So the value of x in the origin, that is 0. And the value of y, that is 0. So the region, that would be 0, 0, the center part. Now, always remember, in x-axis, the right side, those are positive numbers. And the left side, that would be negative numbers. And for the y-axis, the vertical line, the upwards, that would be positive numbers. Downwards, those are negative numbers. Okay? So just that's the thing that you need to remember. Now, in the Cartesian plane, we do have four quadrants. The use of these quadrants, if you know the signs, because the quadrants are designated by different signs. For quadrant 1, our x, that would be positive. x are positive numbers. So we have it right here, quadrant 1, this one. Okay, quadrant 1, this one. Y and X. So quadrant 1, so the X for quadrant 1, that's positive. And the Y for quadrant 1 is positive. For quadrant 2, the X is negative and the Y is positive. For quadrant 3, the X is negative and the Y is negative. For quadrant 4, the x is positive and the y is negative. So you always follow the, the ordered pair, x and y. Now, what's, sir, what's the good thing if you know the signs of the quadrants? The good thing there is if you see that the, the given, if this is all positive numbers, the given there, the point is all positive. Therefore, you plot that in quadrant 1. Example B, the numbers are all negative. Therefore, you plot that on quadrant 2. Uh, no, sorry, quadrant 3. Now, if the number is negative, x is negative, and y is positive, negative, positive, therefore, you plot that on quadrant 2. That's the good thing about quadrants. So, all right, so without further ado, let's plot these points. Okay. All right, so to plot the points, we follow the ordered pair, x and y. So to plot the points, they start with A, 3 and 4. So starting from X, from the origin, you start at the origin. X is 3, so you move 3 units to the right, since this is positive 3. So 1, 2, 3. And since this is positive 4, you move 4 units upward. Once again, if three is pos if X is positive, you move, you move the units to the right. If X is negative, you move the, the point to the left. Now, if y is positive, you move the point upwards. If y is negative, you move, you move the point downwards. So, let's start with this one, a. 3, x is 3, positive 3, starting from the region. You move 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3. And y is positive 4, you move 4 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4. You can put broken line if you want to. So, our a is equals to 3 and 4. Let's try B. So starting from the region, negative 2, it means that you move the point 2 units to the left. 1, 2, and Y is negative 2. You move 2 units downwards. 1, 2. This one. So B equals negative 2 and negative 2. Alright, so Let's try uh, letter C. Negative 3, starting from the origin. 1, you move 3 units to the left, since 3 is negative. 1, 2, 3. Since 5 is positive, you move 5 units upward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's it. So you can put broken line if you want to. Label, label your point. So C equals negative 3 and 5. Let's try letter D. 
So D is 1 and negative 5. So X and Y. Follow the ordered pair X and Y. So starting from the region, since X is 1, so you move 1 unit to the right. And 5 is negative. Oh no, Y is negative 5. You move 5 units downward. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one. So you can put broken line. D equals 1 and negative 5. E, so starting from the region, your x is 0, so therefore you will not move. You cannot move to the right and you cannot, you cannot also move to the left since uh, x is 0. So you will start here, that's the center. So no movement for x because x is 0. The region class, it means 0, 0. And so no movement for x, stay it here, stay in the center. And y is 3, so positive 3, so you move 3 units upward. So no movement for x, but you will move 3 units upward for y because three, because y is 3. 1, 2, 3, and that's it. That's the point. Label E equals 0, 3. Alright, so next is F, negative 3, 0. So starting from the origin, you move 3 units to the right, oh no, sorry, to the left, since this is negative. 1, 2, 3, negative 3. Now for y, y is 0, so therefore no movement for y. You will not move up or down, so that's the answer. Move 3 units to the left since this is negative 3. 1, 2, 3, no movement for y, so that's the answer. F, label your answer, negative 3, then 0. Next is g, 0, 0. So if it's 0, 0, therefore... That, that is the origin. So no movement at all. So that's the center part. So origin. So G, 0, 0. Last number, H. So 4, negative 2. So this is positive 4. Therefore, you move 4 units to the right. 1, 2, starting from the region. 1, 2, 3, 4. And since this is negative 2, you move 2 units downwards. 1, 2. Alright, so H, label your answer, 4 and negative 2. So that's it class. That's how you plot points in the Cartesian coordinate system. So if you have some questions, please leave a comment. And do not forget to subscribe in our channel. You share it to your friends, to your classmates, and hope you like the video. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.